Okay, so today we're gonna go through the Fuji remote camera app. We'll go through its good points and its bad points. So let's, uh, we need to open up the Wi-Fi connection. Uh, please note, if you're using VPN, you gotta turn it off. Okay, it is the camera. Let's connect. Hang on. Okay, Fuji, are we connecting? <laughs> Come on. All right, so we're connected. All right, let's connect via the app. Sometimes this takes a while, even though you've got the connection. Okay, it's searching. All right, we are in. So this is the first page. So we've got remote control, receive, uh, geotagging, and browse the camera. Uh, so browsing the camera is for looking at pictures you've already taken. So let's have a look. Okay, so let's open this one. Uh, the, it does a small preview. The quality is quite good. Alright, so you can import this into your phone. But I'll tell you the truth, it takes a long time. Uh, especially for videos but even pictures it's just too long so I use the dongle for the iPad and then connect it up via that way um, yeah through the camera it's just too long even on the go when you're out uh, the Wi-Fi connections is just not strong enough so it takes a long time just to download one picture um, I won't do that now because it'll take up too much time now that this is an issue I get um, Okay, so I want to go back and it says disconnect. Now I don't want to disconnect, I want to go back to that menu. But for some reason, you can't do that. So even if I do that, it says disconnect. I have to disconnect my camera. I have to connect again. So I have to set up the camera again to connect to Wi-Fi so that's the first pain is that if I want to get out of that first menu I just went into it disconnects the camera if there's another way please tell me okay so I have put the Wi-Fi back on again on the camera just waiting all right we're back in so as I've just shown you, we went into that browse camera menu and then we couldn't come back into this menu. All right, let's look at the remote control. All right, I've turned the, yeah, we are in. All right, so you can see at the top, AFS, standard picture, got 941, large files, ISO 200. Uh, we can change the EXP here, exposure, up and down, okay, goes plus five, down to zero, uh, we can change that X control button. Right, so it's on plus one. Uh, menus, we can change the ISO. Let's do auto 320 and then OK. What else can we can change the film simulation? Vivid, soft, classic chrome, sepia. Does anybody use CPU? All right, let's put it on Vivid. Okay. And what else can we change? White balance. Custom. Auto. Jade. Fluorescent light. One. Two. All right, we just go auto. Flash mode. Well, you're not going to use... Well, you could use that, but... I'm not going to use it. Self-timer. Uh, we'll 
these are pretty basic stuff. Um, I thought you could change this comp here, but yeah, apparently you can't. All right, so we're in the in the camera white balance here yeah, auto. Now you can't. Now I'm changing the exposure dial on the camera. Nothing's happening. Okay, so you can't use the exposure dial. I'm changing the shutter speed on the camera, but nothing's happening. Okay, so let's just take a picture. Okay, that took. Um, what I've this what is really good about this is that you could use this for street photography, because you could just pretend you're on your phone, and you know, make your strap a little bit shorter around your neck. And just have the camera there so it looks like you're just you know browsing your phone but you're actually taking pictures and obviously you want it on silent shutter mode so okay let's have a, let's try the video mode just flip across uh, let's see what settings just expose a com ex exposure comp See, I don't know how to get it back to... All right, we're back to zero. Uh, again, white balance. What options have we got? Uh, film simulation, movie, ISO. Okay, so you only got three choice, three options in that shooting. Let's uh, do a little tiny video. Got 89 minutes. All right, so that's done. So yeah, this this is really good, I think, for doing street photography, you know, covert. All right, so I've just gone into here to look at the what we've taken. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so it takes a few seconds to get the full picture quality. So it's quite good. Okay, we go back. Let's check out the video. Can we watch the video on the APP? No, you can only select it. All right, so let's go. Now I'm worried because it's gonna. Oh no, it's all right. So we're still on remote. Uh, let's go back to camera mode. Okay, so the app crashed, locked the camera up, and I had to take the battery out. So that's. Great, thanks Fuji app. Uh, all right, so now we did. The, we went into the remote control, did the basics. Um, now I, I'm sure in previous versions you could change this, this exposure compensation button. Um, but you can't. All right, I don't know why. Um, I'm going to see if I can change the AFS in camera. No, nothing happens. All right. Okay. Um, so what I like about this, the app is the fact that you can do street photography and <clears throat> it can be done covertly, you know, especially here in China as people don't like people taking photographs All right. now let's have a look at the other options we've got see it wants to disconnect I want to come out but it wants to disconnect I can't go back to those menus even if I tried uh, let's try the play menu again all right as I said you can download your pictures and videos from here uh, you can change the size format Let's come back out. See, sometimes you, you can come back in and come back out. It's weird. All right, let's. I'll try and come back to that main menu again. See, it wants to disconnect. Um, there's no other options there. No options to go back to the main menu. All right, let's disconnect again. Let's connect. See, this is the thing I have to turn on and off the camera again and turn on the Wi-Fi connection so 
so it's not convenient. Uh, let's connect again. That's a pain doing that, um, coming in and coming out. You should be able to go back to the main menu. All right, uh, now receive. Receive is similar to the menu we just looked at where you can see all your photographs, but you can only send one individual photograph at a time. So let's do it. So it will pop up on your camera. It will say send individual image. So I will do that now. You press OK and it will send one individual image. Come on, be quick. I'm waiting. All right, so there's, there's the one image. I'm still connected to the camera and I'm gonna press end. Oh, I don't wanna disconnect. <laughs> I wanna go back to the main menu. You can't do it. You can't go back. All right, so the cancel again. See, now it's come to this with gallery exit. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Because it, it, it has disconnected. All right, so go back to the Wi-Fi again. That means I have to turn on and off the camera. Wireless connection. Okay, come on. Oh, yeah. So once you're connected with the camera, it's okay. But if you want to go back to any menu, to the main menu, it's not okay. So that's something Fuji needs to sort out. Unless I'm doing something wrong, but I don't see it. All right, so I'm going to try the... I've never done the geotagging, so uh, let's go in here. Uh, yes, I put, need to put my location on. See, it's locked up again. Connect. The reconnect. Come on. Just waiting and waiting. Come on, APP. You know, other people have complained about this. All right, let's try the geotagging again. We are connected. All right. Uh, location info available, time 60 remaining. Okay, so if I take a picture, it should tag it. Okay, it's just told me it can't find the location. Now I am inside, all right, but it has disconnected from the camera. Uh, let's go back, can we go back? Can we go back? No. Reconnect again. Come on, come on Fuji, you can do it. So I have to do the camera again, connect to Fuji. Come on Fuji. All right, we are connected. All right, so that's the issue basically. It, 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 you can't go back to the menus. It keeps disconnecting from the Wi-Fi. If you can get it working, it's good for the remote control option, but everything else is just useless. Um, browse the camera. Why would you want to do that? You can browse the camera yourself by just using the camera. Receive. You can only receive one picture for that mode. Now, this, this there's a little arrow in a square in the right-hand corner. Now that's to connect to the internet, but if you're using the Wi-Fi to connect to the camera, you can't connect to the internet. So pretty pointless, really. Uh, there's not much else on there. Let, I'll show you what I mean. Let's try it. See, web page not available. It's disconnected again. Auto transfer on. No, you don't want that, do you? Of course not. Close Fuji family road. Yes. Okay, so. Obviously some issues with the APP. Um, I haven't used it that much, but I would use it for covert street stuff. Um, I will try it out this week and see how it goes. All right, I hope Fuji can sort this app out.